Nintendo's got to be the most mismanaged company ever. They have absolute gold and they could be selling you across everything. Oh, yeah. It's weird that you say mismanaged because they're obviously not. They're so profitable. But they they might be the biggest underutilizers. I don't know if that's a proper phrasing, but I'm going to use it. Of their IPs and backlog I've ever seen. It's crazy. I th they, they Somehow, they're, they're even more boggling to me than Konami. Konami's sitting on some of the best IPs in existence. Do, like, do I need to say what's going on with Konami? Konami, it makes sense, though, because nobody trusts Konami to do good by their IPs. Everybody trusts Nintendo to do good by their IPs. So co people that like IPs under Konami, like me, I'm a big fan of Metal Gear. I'm a big fan of Silent Hill. I have zero faith that we're going to get anything beneficial out of those franchises ever again. Period. And with Nintendo, it's like, I want more Star Fox. I want more Donkey Kong. I want more just... I want an F-Zero game that can reintroduce new people to the franchise, but we're never going to get it. I'll buy Link to the Past 20 times over on every console they release it. It'll be valid because that shit's my childhood. Yeah, that's literally where I am with... Um, like, uh, this is a modern thing. This isn't a big company, but it's where I am with uh, Momodora, for example. It's where I am with Ori and the Blind Forest, but they will not let me give them, their mo give them my money. I still think it's stupid to lock all their classic games. Literally the only way to get them on Switch is behind an online subscription. Yeah, but you can't even get the games that you want through that subscription. You get whatever Nintendo deems is worthy of you to play, which is really stupid. Like, I, just open the whole catalog, guys. Just open the whole catalog. And if anybody's going to try to have the counter argument of like, well, it's quality control. I'm sorry. Have you seen Nintendo's emulators on their official consoles compared to anything we've had on PC for over a decade now? They're kind of hot garbage. I hope Switch 2 has backward compatibility and can offer 60 FPS. Um, I would not be surprised if the Switch 2 doesn't do anything beyond... It'd be stupid of them not to target 60 for their current games. But if anything, what I would say is it, I would not be baffled if they don't target 60, but instead they target a, a guaranteed 30 for all of their games because Tears of the Kingdom has low frame rate areas. Uh, Hyrule Warriors runs terribly. Hyrule Warriors 2 runs even worse somehow. And they're still pumping out games that just run terribly on the Switch, no matter if it's in docked mode or handheld mode. And it's crazy. Might as well just go to PC for ability classic games. Jokes on Nintendo. Uh, it's not illegal. And I already emulate my, my games that I own. So I get the best experience for the product I paid for. Also, I have little no expectations for Switch 2, honestly. If I was like eight, I would be hyped for Switch 2. I don't have any expectations because we're even if it's good and if it's not crazy expensive. The Switch 2 can be five years old and Tears of the Kingdom will still be $60. I, I feel like that's all I need to say. If the Switch 2 comes out next year, that means in 2030, I will not be surprised to see Tears of the Kingdom still be $60 or even just $50, which is still absurd. I would not be surprised. I have no faith in Nintendo.